<laughs> yeah, there's no people here yet. It's empty, and, and deserted. Most of these tents, we set up for those people. That's right. We worked our butts off. Into it. Hey, uh, <laughs> the whole work crew needs to uh, yeah, get in on this crew. one. Let's be recognized, to folks. We set up camp, man. Peace and soul. <laughs> I left it right outside my tent turned up. What are y'all talking about? There's still a Dr. Smith at 6th Tech. There's still a Dr. Smith uh, along this field. It's cool. Someone stepped on the It's like you're going to be showered in. So. I'm going to take one every three days. I know you're not recording my ass going up this field. No, I'm not. It's, it's great to watch people's reactions when somebody's running around a yeah. bar with their head on fire. You know, that that sounds kind of entertaining to me. Oh, it's great. <laughs> you going to get tired. We reverted to a hunter-gatherer economy of <laughs> beer and cigarettes for goods and <laughs> services. Storage pit. Yeah. Don't walk <laughs> up that hill too hard. Here's our midden. Pot, because so. you walk yeah. up that hill too hard, our you're going to be tarred. Cigarette bag. You're going to be tarred. This is going to be okay. like I didn't mean to interrupt the Craig mania. <laughs> Craig mania. Yeah. Dust cave Craig 2000. Craig wild. <laughs> Dust cave oh, yeah. man, I'm, I'm so wild, man. Look, Dust cave oh, 2002 shit. Greg okay. mania. Yeah. He'll start pulling okay, up his shirt I'm, now. I'm, I'm being really wild. You hit it, John. Yeah, you're, you're doing good, John. Hit it. You know, there's all kinds of tards in the world. They're sleep tards. Kind of tarred. <laughs> you know, and there's all kinds at this camp here tonight. And uh, this song is dedicated to all of those tards <laughs> that are here tonight because we're plum tards. Hey, Greg. What? <laughs> what? That's lovely. Mm. Sewage. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, you'll have to get the sewage plant on the way out. Oh yeah. You know it. Welcome to beautiful Alabama. God! Oh, man. The poo pool. Don't walk over there. Oh, it smells lovely, too. We're gonna die! <laughs> I'll write everything I have in my like, uh, plastic trash bag. Hey, Greg, did you get me my beer? Just a drip line right there, there dude. Huh? Your beer is over here, right? No, that's dance. Oh, that's a lot more. If you put enough. this one underneath it, it yeah. would be perfect. Yeah, I know. Well, we, we didn't think about it. Hey, could you grab some of my beers for a minute? Yeah. God, master! Way before him! And it's a muddy freaking mess! I needed a shower anyway. <laughs> I just freaking took one and look what happened. <laughs> raining. So much for the veranda. It's raining. Okay, everybody, we made it through the first rain. Okay, everybody, we made it through the first rain. <laughs> right. Except this Hannah. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Does he have something oh. on his back? Oh, wow. Those, those yes, things are so wild. Well. There's around. dead no. frogs all no. up in that. Did you do roasting? No, they ju they, they're they kamikaze. Mm -hmm. the, the story of pain. Okay, Thank let's you. see. It started about six days ago. John's a full story. We're working our ass off. I overextended myself. It's green. Didn't get any sleep. Uh, I got a fever you blister. Successfully got it in the pocket behind Muscle the atrophy. Heat okay. exhaustion. That so that's, that's pretty much it. Welcome to day one of the dig. The sound of trowel sharpening permeates the air. Um, I'll get some clipboards out. And see Chris good master engineering. You break it. Good. We master. break it again. 
think this thing floats anymore, especially with all the sediment that's been filtered through the water screens. I wonder if it's even capable of floating when the water gets up real high. Yeah, it was floating the other day. Oh, okay. it, was, it was floating on, but it's just the water's real low right now. It's lower than it has been. This is the lowest it's been since we've been here. You'll, you'll have two sheets in there. One sheet is for the collapse that happened in 99 uh, that we were cleaning up in the year 2000. Then it collapsed in several large blocks, three large blocks that we call block A, block B, and block C. Uh, yeah, we will redo the rod readings because uh, either they've gotten mashed down because of the uh, shoring on it, or they'll be, it, it's crazy, sometimes they're like isostatic rebound is what we call it. Some days you go in there and it's different from what it is when you left, either because water has percolated up and it's, it sometimes just changes and it happens. So yeah, we will be redoing the rod readings. So a big difference in the zones. So you can you can see that really clearly there. The metal stay. Pardon? The metal stay. Do we have one out there? Or? Oh, no. Lauren, do you want to hold the back one there for for Greg so that he gets the back? Make sure that the back corner is right. It's approximately in this area right here. Do you want to close that? Um, that you want to go from uh, the back end towards the front because you're going to be generating dirt. You want to keep that all in front of you. Um, what we're trying to do is get rid of the loose crumbs and shave the top layer of dirt off. Okay. And again, so, so. The, the numbers, this is North 62, West 62. These are all West 62, this line here, because this way is North again. So this is six, North West 62, that's West 61, 63, 64. And so on. What um? I mean, do, you, do you have a herpetology book? Do you have a snake book with you? Yeah. All right, because I the snakes I'm sure to decompose. Yeah. But I'd like to look through it to figure out what that snake yeah, is. Sure. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, Peterson. Cause, yeah. Cause I have no clue what that snake was. What? Hey, I tied yes, one. Okay. That found lithics. Does that count? Because it's not really in our unit. Well, wait till you finish the level to fill that part out. Because you got your map at the start, but then that's describing this is what was in that level. What we have here is the um, unit that I'm working on. Just call it, uh, what, which one are you describing now? Lauren. With Lauren. And here, you can barely see it, are Everything bone fragments. That is a tooth <coughs> fragment. Hi, Greg. Hey. Hi, Burley. Lauren's busy. There's Grady. This is what poison ivy will do to your skin if you're allergic to it. So after swimming through it, I managed to get by with just this much on my forearms. So and that's can, awesome, Greg. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't feel very awesome, and it's I'm a pain sure. in the ass to keep from scratching it. <laughs> but I've kept my self-control. Ew! You don't want it. You don't want it, man. So hard. <laughs> Sarah, what's that on the board over there? Group what? Group projects. Group what? Projects. Reject. <laughs> First time ever I heard that. Oh, Freeburb. I thought you said Reverb. I thought you said Reverb. What do you think he said? We need to get sweet on Alabama out here to play it, please. Basically, whoever the leader is of these groups will start 
start organizing you, maybe give you something to read over the weekend. Um, for sure, we'll get started on Monday. Although I'm not here, so. Uh, for sure, we'll get started by Wednesday. How's that? Sherwood's gonna really love this. Right down on Chris, that's an open space. <laughs> What's the word, Chris? Generator overheated. Oh, really? Yeah. That sucks. One for Greg. Oh, Thank one. you very Three much. Go back. One for Greg. Thank you very one much. One for John. Separately, since it's all the same creatures. Well, Call me. Yeah. I'm waiting to hear from you. Dirty archaeologist, 1 900. Pretty dang close, because it comes right there on the ground. Dirty job. Chris has found some more. He's just going to dig out right now. Do you remember your watch? Yeah, we found some dog. I guess on Friday, um, there was a jaw that had a canine incisor on it and some teeth, and we just found some teeth where he's digging right now, and now we're start, starting to find bones. And incisors in the jaw? This was a, uh, an ash hearth. Oh, okay. And then the distal point was right down here. Oh, okay. And that's about, that's where you found the antler? Yeah, and that's exactly where that's I found the antler. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's just doing them all. There's John and Dan. Let's go over and see what they're doing. That boy. What are you doing, guys? Learning facts, artifacts. What you doing, Dan? I'm trying to catalog these here bone places, man. Put them on the wire. Have them right cut weight. And then you'll mark it on the bag. Which is it? I'm putting on there. Bone's good hardy material. Yeah, it is. Especially in our cave, yeah. The pH is perfect. <laughs> we don't need another hero. Motorcycle sidecar. <laughs> we don't need another way home. Two men enter, one woman leaves. Yeah. Whoa! That was compressed. The potato gun blew up in my face. <laughs> like many things in John lot in John's yeah. life. I know, the man. J4B started out, and we 
ran into feature 301 here, which is intruding into J4B. We start taking this down to the previous level um, where we started. <laughs> Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. I wonder why some of these have the binders on the side. Mm -hmm. Are you going to draw that map? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> so, I guess we're ready to start. Hey, Greg, what are you doing? Blast the damn water out of this damn hose. You better work that hose. All right. Woo! I'm trying, it's real shaky. Y'all got a copperhead coming your way. What are you doing back there? <laughs> I got arms and I got legs. They flip, flap, flip, flap. I got arms and I got legs. They flip, flap, flip, flap. I got arms and I got legs. They flip, flap, flip. You gotta keep up your guard <laughs> when you're tarred. Don't let nobody know you're tarred. Just keep up your guard. This is purely upon my father's recommendation of how to deal with this gun. And since he's a geologist, oh, can well, we trust him on yeah. this gun? <laughs> But we get your dad and John's dad together, we should come up with some a good skunk oh, removal right. system. Yeah. It's a duct tape. WD-40. You can build a home. I don't know, duct tape can patch holes. <laughs> we'll build you a home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it won't squeak and it probably won't fall apart for a while. Yeah, duct tape will get you to the degree. Oh, yeah. See these ledges here on the sides? There were um, basket burials there that were reported in the turn of the century. So there were literally human bundle burials in baskets. Um, the bottom came up with a date of somewhere around 15,000 towards the bottom, part way up. And then up here was a date of um, There's the ring. God, seven or 8,000. I can't remember. I should remember that, and I, I can't. Putting your camera in your makeup bag. <laughs> 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 Dan's compact. Dan has a better makeup bag than that. John? Raccoon or what? somebody eating the hell a um, fish. I didn't do that. Bat. Greg, you been back here? What? Said you been back here partying? <laughs> Twelve pack of fish back there. Oh. Of course, I thought <laughs> they hadn't been opened. There. I'm out. I see. And so is the sun now. Yeah. Yeah, you can leave off all the, <laughs> beer the massive the beer alcohol <laughs> consumption. Yeah, and coming out in droves. Oh. In crazy. painful droves. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for four days. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bring the anaconda. Okay. Here comes Lieutenant Dan. Halting <laughs> for dirty, Sherwood. <laughs> I know you didn't take a picture of me sliding down that hill on my ass. No. Why, did you want me to? No. Okay. Now, where's the really slippery spot? It's it, the right at the end of the rope. Oh, he even has a brake system. Oh, it's smooth yep. landing. I do have to tell you guys, though, the biggest spiders I've ever seen in my life were in this cave. And the tracks. Hey, he's got a light. <laughs> I'm far more. Oh yeah. See, now there's an eggplant biogenic, non-organic. Hey, Dan. Somebody. There is no Dan here. Boy, you better get all out of here now. I need somebody for still on that thing. Okay. Like some ways. One at a time on that log. It's mushy. Soggy trash. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Sharon. Paddle out. <laughs> you know 
We're sitting in the middle of a swamp, drinking beer, smoking, eating pizza, and watching a movie in the middle of a swamp. Have we turned the generator on yet? There still ain't no generator. Greg, Greg, Gregory, put the fire down. <laughs> you can't use it till we need to start another fire yeah. in the circle that everyone's going to enjoy. Is that specific enough? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a mummy. You don't scare me at all. Ooh, I'm a mummy. I can't see. I'm a mummy. Where's the beard? Greg Adela. Hey, Greg Adela. Ooh, I'm a dealer. <laughs> I'm not going to lose myself. Oh, no. I'm tagged. I have some. Um, no, we're not worried about you losing yourself. We're worried about us losing you. Oh. Hmm, oxy pads. Let's see. There's girls and Dan who uses those. So, did you throw one in my tent, Dan? No. I mean, look at for someone who crawls through mud. He's got very beautiful skin. <laughs> It's the mother, doesn't Smooth it? It helps exfoliate. Yeah. Smooth as a baby, yeah. <laughs> yes, you exfoliated yourself I have some last Look at you, all Dan. the spider webs everywhere. I know. You can like see them from the dew. Where's the I'm gonna go. Uh, but,
<laughs> Asa just unlocked the gate and walked back to the <laughs> truck. <laughs> and Chris had to get back out. And Chris had already been sitting there talking to him while he's unlocking the gate, so that's why that's why it's funny. <laughs> no, I'm not irritated. <laughs> yeah. There's Mon Chris. Monkey, monkey boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna try to hit every low branch you can. What? What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what you're up to. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> it is armadillo witch project in effect. Hey, Santa Claus. Hey, what? Hey, Santa Claus, you, you got rid of some of your beard. Yeah, it's all going. You're, aren't you supposed to be up, like, like, making the elves make I'm toys? I'm the South Shall Rise Again, Claus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What'd you say, Brock? I said Dixie Claus. Oh, okay. He's gonna bring you, like... You're not Santa Claus, Lord, you're Dixie Claus. Dahlia and, uh, Southern Dixie Flags for... <laughs> So what are we doing today, Greg? We're at the Stanfield Worley Rock Shelter, and uh, we're going to do whatever Candy and Asa tells us to do. <laughs> so. We're digging test units Whee! outside the rock shelter, so we don't even get ashamed. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? No shame for us. No shame for us. I guess we got a dog. Yep, we got a dog. He don't fetch, but he no. likes to be petted. He's real good at laying there. supposed to be screening this? <laughs> yeah, I know. I think you're, we're pretty clean over here, so let's just get all this loose stuff out. Um, yeah, you're probably you're damn close to being on the level right there. All right. He's like, yes, pet me, pet me. Find these again, all all over the place. Usually in portable, in portable stones. <laughs> Come stand over it. What? Come stand right over it. Another good picture. Oh, uh -huh. no. I don't know if I have a coin for it. Look up, John. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Dead wildlife all over our backyard.
Yeah, man, if, if one thing goes, this whole place is falling apart because it's all connected. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't have, you don't have to we, tell me. We, I walked through here with a chainsaw a minute ago. We've got about three quarters of a mile of string right. holding this place up. I was like, man, I could run through, through here with a chainsaw and everybody's shorts. I may do it tonight. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's down there in the tunnel. Yeah. That'd be nice. I get two nuts. Everybody pissing me off. I believe that tent's alive. Stand up, quit. <laughs> yeah, boy, you're sneaking your tent. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should go pee before you take a nap. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking maybe you should start peeing around your tent. It's, more a, it's a good thing you didn't. On it. It's a good thing you didn't lose like bladder control when that happened. <laughs> I did not pee <laughs> on myself. <laughs> for the record. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant Dan. Thank you, Lieutenant Dan. Where's Dan? Peek-a-boo! <laughs> you don't want me to show me your, your, my real peek boo You're right. You don't want me to. <laughs> dead yet again. <laughs> so we are working in archaic fashion with pencils and paper trying to work on our group projects. What you doing, Hannah? Looking. Are you analyzing cores? Supposed to be. Look at his tail. He's all step and step. I don't know. He's just trying to bring right along or whatever the hell playing this rock is. She's panicking. Which one did you turn on? The meter generator friends. Mm -hmm. I had made a show me deep freeze and one of the hot water. Okay. What number are you on, John? Say what? What number are you on? Four. Awesome. Yeah. I did it. I don't owe Dan any beer. All right. 
Can you explain a little bit about what you're doing? I'm digging in the dirt because there's stuff in here like uh, points, airheads. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to see you guys are representing yourself so well. <laughs> Colby, you want to tell us about what you're doing? <laughs> That's when you say it again. Yeah. I am working on the float column. Get a little so charcoal concentration yes. and Is, possibly, and room, possibly another an ash yeah, zone. Oh, just that. Could be a new zone one. coming up. Okay. Lots of times when we have features. That's about it for now. Awesome. In the cave. So it was maybe. What's going on there, Maida? Nothing much. Just taking notes. Taking notes. Yeah. Looks like fun. Not doodling. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is North 64 West 66 and North 65 West 66. Um, both these units are a little crazy uh, because we're having um, collapsing going on along the wall of the shoring and along the back. We have an interesting ash deposit here. We also have a couple of interesting uh, things coming up here. We have a gastropod concentration. We seem to have quite a few bits of uh, debitage or lithics coming out. What's that thing right there? What, right here? No, that thing, uh, the, 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 the thing right there that I'm pointing it at. The thing. The, the, the thing, no, the thing there that I'm pointing the camera at. Right here? That, yeah, that thing. What is that? That? that yeah, is that's a, a paleo dust pan. Paleo dust pan. What exactly were those utilized for? Um, pretty much um, keeping the cave spotlessly clean at all times. The frogs have invaded dust cave. Burley is the lord of the frogs. Sure. <laughs> I am the lord of the frogs, said he, and I lead you all where you may be. <laughs> Dance, dance, wherever you may be. Uh, I'm too sexy for my shit. Too sexy for my shit. Do you really want to feel me? Do you really want to take my action shot? Do you really want to feel me? Well, we've got... This is J1D. Uh -huh. This is a feature. That's a feature. And this is J1B, and there's our float column, <laughs> and then we've got yeah. D1. <laughs> In the corner? Yes. From today? Oh, today? Yes. yes. Dear Lord. Well, we were just getting prepared for tomorrow. Okay. You just keep talking with that pretty mouth. <laughs> I don't understand don't how, how a girl with such a pretty mouth can say such ugly things. <laughs> Don't make me smack you now. Don't make me bring it. Daniel, you know how to drive the girls wild. Yeah, you've seen those videos. I'm in the background there somewhere. Here we have a PPK. PPK. Looks like he's just a PP. Projectile. Put it in your hands. Like, yeah. Is that better? Is it better? Right? Yeah. Cool. Isn't that pretty? It's a little point. Look at him. Look at him, ain't he cute? That's beautiful, Dan. Can you even see? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm off. Oh, I got one. You got that one? Yeah, I got it. Oh! <laughs> Three! Two! One, I go, Pam. go, Pam, there's an outing. That's pretty much like my ass in the morning when I get up. <laughs> this is what we lovingly refer to as the bunghole. Right. You want to try it closer to the bottom? Close to the bottom, nail all the way up. Maybe. Well, I can go get that big one and do it again. The tree broke. Can <laughs> I get this knot out? Yeah, hold on. John, sleeping there. on the job. <laughs> yeah, he just passed out. Look at him. He's <laughs> asleep. Oh, he woke up. Nope, there he is. Scratch, scratch, scratch. I'm going back to sleep. 
Wake up, John! Nope. All the shower people were saying that they've got a cooler type in here. Were they? Or cooler camp in there. Oh, yeah. Well, the two of them are. I guess it's not all of them. Hey, it's June 27th. Ooh, 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 did not even think of that. Hi. <laughs> Just happy Colby's birthday. Why don't your mama hold you in for another one? <laughs> Poor Joel. Get that one in the corner. Yeah, Get that take one in the picture. corner. Okay, okay, take a picture uh, first. Okay. All right, here we go. Click. Oh, oh, my God. No, no, no. The fan. The fan's blowing them out. <laughs> Raise the action photo. Ready? So what does it feel like to be 26? It feels wonderful. You're not anywhere near it. God, no! Get off the crib! No, you can't feel around! That is illegal. You're so you're far. Spin around again. Spin her around again. All you can do is touch it once and then you have to plant your tail. <laughs> it sounded bad. It? It's just an excuse to touch your butt. I'm Dr. Sarah Sherwood, and I am the instructor for the Middle Tennessee State University Field School. Um, I am assisted by lots of very capable TAs, which you'll meet shortly. Um, and this is a this is the first five-week field school that we've had at Dust Cave, and the whole idea of a field school is for students to learn all about archaeological techniques in the field, and to take part in excavation. And one thing that we do that's a little different at Dust Cave is we also try to involve them in the overall research. So the students are doing group research projects. Now usually this is an eight to ten week field school, so it's individual projects. But since we only have five weeks, which as it turns out in week uh, four and a half is not long enough, but I guess that's always the case. Um, not to mention that the state has decided that uh, it's, we have to close the university since there is no state budget, but that's another story altogether. Um, but we've done group projects instead, and so you can swing the camera around. This is part of our project that I'm working with um, Chris Goodmaster and Daniel Brock and Sharon Freeman and Greg um, Cannon, and we're doing some experimental archaeology replicating, uh, trying to replicate or control for some of the variables we think that created the prepared surfaces in the cave. My specialty is geoarchaeology, but um, I'm also just a good old-fashioned archaeologist. So my goal in this project, I've been involved in this project since 1992, so I've had lots of goals in terms of research, but in, as far as the field school goes, it's just to give, has been to give the students a well-rounded picture of what archaeology is like in the field. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly. 
and um, to let them just get out here and try it all out. And hopefully they've accomplished that. I'm Sharon Freeman. Um, I'm a cook, camp manager. It's my third season here at Dust Cave. I'm employed by the University of Alabama at Mountville Archaeological Park. Uh, this season is a little bit different. Uh, I'm cook camp manager, but I'm also a student both semesters this summer, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, I enjoy it. I love it here. And uh, I do whatever Candy, Asa, Laura, Sarah, Boyce, uh, whoever's in charge, uh, I help them out wherever's necessary. I do a great deal of excavation. Uh, as well as cooking and interacting with the students, which this is a wonderful group this year. I've really enjoyed everybody. Hi, uh, my name is Jason Randall. Uh, I'm a graduate student at the University of Florida. My, I've been working at Dust Cave since uh, 1997 when I was a student, and I'm currently working on the chip zone tool technology at Dust Cave to try and understand, particularly late Paleo-Indian um, and early Holocene economies uh, through the use of um, microware analyses and, and other uh, specialized techniques. My name is Maida Pike. I'm working here this summer at Dust Cave as a teaching assistant for the University of Tennessee. I will begin graduate school uh, this fall and uh, my focus is archaeology. We're comparing uh, feature types. Uh, we have rock line tars and we have charcoal pits. And we're comparing um, the content of what's in these different feature types uh, to see if possibly if they were used for the same thing um, or if they, were, if they had different functions. And if they did, then we would see different contents. Uh, we're comparing shell and lithic, bone, um, and botanical remains. Uh, to compare and see if there's any similarities or differences between the feature types. I'm Candy Detweiler. I'm a graduate student at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Uh, I'm here. I'm one of the supervisors, crew, staff. Um, uh, this is part of my dissertation project. I've worked here since 97, and so I'm going to be looking at the plant remains uh, from here. I'm kind of attached to the place, so definitely wanted to include it in my dissertation. Uh, my group project, we are looking at, uh, we're taking a column sample, a flotation sample, and looking at uh, the constituents of those samples in terms of shell, uh, lithics, uh, botanical remains, and bone, and seeing how, they, how those different uh, quantities change over time, especially in the Kirkstemmed and Evermore Mountain phases. I'd like to shift this one. Yeah, that was kind of going. Against the poles, away from the poles. Oh yeah. Y'all building a moon rocket? Burley's soul. You can have Burley's soul too if you're worried about it. Oh yeah. We got an extra soul floating around. Nuts. Come over here if you want nuts. So what do we say? Dust cave, y'all ready? One, two, three. Yeah!
break. Let me see how it is. Are you uh, leaving made of You in. Made of Oh my god, I'm so waiting for you, bro. This is it, Dan. What do you think? For you, man. I'm staying. I'm squatting. Squatting. I'm not going anywhere. You're gonna have to come force me off the land. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put need much stake in what the government tells me. I'm gonna live out here on small plane. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Doctor Sherwood. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Come on, boys, don't do it. Okay. I gotta finish. By all means, finish. You're working sweet. Tell a dog to go alone.